coming after the strongholds. The Lord says this is not a move that is just going to be a temporary success. But the Lord said, I'm coming after ancient strongholds that have ruled in the nations for generations and centuries. For God says, because the enemy has taunted me, the Lord says, I'm going to hit him between the eyes and I'm going to begin to destroy the powers of darkness. For this is an hour, says the Lord, that the church shall arise with healing in her wings, says the Lord. I did not birth you, says God, to die in the midst of turmoil. And though the enemy rages, it's temporary, says God. You are going to celebrate, says the Lord, because of the power and the anointing of the Spirit of the Lord. For I did not birth this nation to be ruled by demons. And the demons that are ruling over this nation, says, God, I am destroying them by the power of the Lord. In fact, says God, I am taking demons out of circulation. Not only are they being cast out, but I'm not going to allow them to roam to and fro throughout the earth. But this time, says the Lord, even as hell emptied out its army upon this nation, I am now going to begin to bind spirits. You will say, what has God done? There is going to be such liberty he says the Lord starting in January 1st of 2023 uh, that you will say we have never seen it on this wise uh, the media will stand dumbfounded because just when they thought they won uh, God said I'm going to loose Michael the archangel with his army and they're going to begin to march through the land by the power of the Holy Ghost uh, this is not an hour says the Lord uh, that I am no longer going to I am not going to tolerate uh, spirits. Now judgment shall begin in the house of the Lord, but it shall be a two-edged sword. As I begin to bring judgment in the house of God, first and foremost, I'm going to begin to remove ministries that have been unclean, unrepentant, and unholy, that have raped my sheep, have stood on the platforms and been on the airwaves. Lord. They shall begin to die physically. Men that will walk onto their platform will drop dead uh, says the Lord uh, because I have loosed an Ananias a Sapphira anointing uh, in the atmosphere this time says God uh, I am not going to have mercy on those uh, that have rejected my call uh, I called I sent my prophets uh, I warned uh, but they shook their head and said God does not see us I saw says the Lord uh, and I will recompense saith God upon those that have stood on the sacred platforms of my churches yet did not preach my gospel. My house shall again be called the house of prayer. I thy God am as I did in the last of days of my ministry. I have put together a whip and I am getting ready to walk into the house of the Lord. I am going to drive out the money changers. What you have saw in the last two decades was not my will. I do not have to beg for money. I do not have to trick for money. I can make money, saith the Lord. I can speak a word, hallelujah, and that which does not exist comes into existence. For this move, saith God, will not be done through stewardship. It will not be done through raising money programs. But I am going to cause the wicked to pay for the move of of the Lord uh, that I am releasing in the atmosphere uh, by the power of God. Uh, I lose a boldness in this building tonight uh, and upon those that are under the sound of my voice. Uh, I lose a holy anointing upon you uh, to begin to rise up uh, in the spirit of God uh, and declare if God be for me and I am, uh, then nobody can be against me. Uh, I break the spirit of intimidation uh, off of the church in this hour, rise up, stand up, saith God. You are blood bought, robed in the glory of God. There is no weapon formed against you that can prosper. And there every word that rises up against you in judgment, you shall condemn. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. This night, saith God, mark it down. I have loosed something in the atmosphere over this nation. And there is earthquakes both in the spirit and in the natural that are going to begin to take place. Strongholds that the enemy has set are untouchable. Watch me, saith God. Without the help of men, I'm going to pull down the strongholds this time. Because this nation started in the east, says the Lord, I'm going to start a fire of my glory. And it shall start in New York City. The Lord says there was such an attempt by the enemy to snuff out the gospel that started in the state of New York with great men until that city has become a tribute to evil and to Baal. So I'm going to invade that city, says the Lord. And one of the reasons I'm going to invade it, says God, is because before I'm done, my glory is going to touch all of the earth. And New York City, says the Lord, is a melting pot of nationalities that represent most of the nations in the earth. So it's no mistake that United Nations is in New York City. And so my glory is going to start in New York City. And this time, says God, the fire of my glory will not be put out until the angel blows the trumpet and I take my people home. As this move begins, as this fire begins to burn, of the power and of the presence of the Lord. As pagan as this city has been is how anointed she shall be. For I have already, says God, decades back, I planned it. I set a prophet named David Wilkerson in that town. And he wrote what I had yet to do. He wrote, says God, that he saw fires all over the city. And many have interpreted this as judgment. But know this, the fires that he saw, though he did not understand, were the fires of holy anointing that are going to burn by the power of the glory of God, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Before I'm done, says God, the old woman that stands for liberty shall again stand for the liberty and the righteousness of the glory of the law. As this fire begins to burn, it will become so great and so magnificent that it will not be able to be contained in the states. And know this, saith the Lord, I'm going to begin to go down the east side of the United States because I am headed for the south because before there can ever be the final outpouring of my glory the spirit of racism has to be broken in this nation because slavery started in the south I'm going to send this move out of New York uh, down the East Coast. And I'm going to hit Georgia and North Carolina and South Carolina and Florida with the power of God. Uh, and as this spirit begins to break the spirit of racism uh, that has its tentacles uh, in this area, it's going to break. Uh, you watch, say it, the Lord. Uh, there's going to be a different move. Uh, hit the black community. Uh, and I'm going to cause the blacks and the whites to stand in this nation to the chagrin uh, of hell uh, as unity. Uh, and there's going to be a release of the power and of the anointing of the spirit of the Lord 
then saith God, I'm going to begin to calm down the south side of this nation, and I'm headed, saith the Lord, for the state of California. And the fires that used to burn in Los Angeles through Azusa Street, I'm going back, saith God, and I'm going to unite and I'm going to start the fire that started in Azusa Street. As this glorious move of the Lord begins to hit, I will transform the state of California and I will remove the liberal voice, saith the Lord, and I will reinstate the powers and the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I declare this day, saith God, that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Why did you doubt me, saith God? Don't you know that I am always on time? That there is nothing that can stop me. There is nothing that can hold me back. And the same power that's in me is in you. Did I not declare that you are the body of Christ? Did I not declare uh, the same works that I do? Uh, ye shall do, uh, and greater works than these uh, shall ye do. When I begin to finish my purpose in California, this is what I've been hearing the Lord say to me for the last three days. He said, the Northwest was the last part of this nation that was explored. And God said, it has the least religious roots in Oregon and Washington and in Idaho. And the Lord said, what's coming up the coast, the West Coast, is I'm headed for those states that have been strongholds for evil and for Baal and the Lord says I'm going to hit those states with the fire of God and when I hit all four corners saith the Lord at one time I can see it in the spirit there's going to be a convergence from all four corners that's just going to begin to move in until the Lord says this entire nation is on fire with the power and of the glory of the Lord. God said, I have already made provision for what you have yet to encounter and what has already taken place. God says, this nation was hit with a traitorous, a traitorous spirit. The Lord said this traitorous spirit, first of all, got in the church before it got in the nation. And shepherds who should have protected the sheep, destroyed the sheep. My God, I feel the spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. God, Baba Sunday. And the Lord says the church got in the mess that it was in because the sheep door was not protected. And the wolves got in. And the hirelings got in. But they were disguised. And because there was so little prayer, the sheep were not able to discern who was holy and who was not. The Lord says, I called you sheep because you have to have protection. And the Lord said, because the spirit of a traitor got loose in the church and men that should have protected me and my name set in close rooms in clandestine meetings with unholy men and made treaties that they knew would destroy the kingdom of God. It loosed a traitorous a traitorous spirit in our government, says the Lord. And the men that should have protected you 
in courts and in legislators became traitors for money and power until right became wrong and wrong became right. And no longer was there a scale of justice in the courts, but there was only evil. God said, do you not know that before I could ever have resurrection life, I had to have one of my own become a traitor. And it took a traitor to release a resurrection power. But know this, says the Lord, before I was resurrected, the traitor spirit was destroyed. And hear me say it, the Lord. And I am going to one hand say it, the Lord. I am going to drop the gavel from the courts of heaven. <clears throat> and I'm going to declare righteousness shall rule and evil will be rescinded. I'm going to give you, hallelujah, the days of heaven upon the earth. And this spirit of recreation that took my day, I'm breaking that thing. And though for a temporary moment I shut them down, but know this, saith the Lord, I need their stadiums. I need their arenas. So hear me, uh, there is going to be a curse begin to come on sports. I'm going to all of a sudden take the desire away uh, out of men, uh, and I'm going to baptize those men uh, with a hunger for the glory uh, and the magnitude of the power of God. Uh, you think and give me a building? Uh, God said, listen, I'm going to give you a stadium. Uh, what has been a little group uh, is going to become a magnificent, glorious gathering of men and women. They're going to come by the thousands. It won't be a once a year Billy Graham gathering, but from week after week, saith the Lord, Sundays are going to fill up stadiums with the glory of God. I'm going to lose, hallelujah, the power of the Lord. You get ready. You're going to see them come out of wheelchairs and run. You're going to see the blind begin to declare, I can see that Deaf are going to declare, I can hear uh, hospitals. So this day, saith the Lord, even as I did for my children, when they got ready to come out of Egypt and take their inheritance, I spoke a word, and not one left feeble. There was no sickness from 430 years of slavery. There were no broken bones. There was no arthritis. There were no cripples, but they walked out whole because they ate all of the lamb on Passover night. I this day, saith the Lord, have laid myself out before thee, and I say, eat the lamb, eat the lamb, eat the lamb, because in me, saith the Lord, you have health and you have healing. See, now, do not think this is strange what my servant is declaring to you. Have I already showed you in the book of Acts that everything I'm declaring I've already done. I'm just going back, saith the Lord, and I am renewing what I've already done in days gone by. The Lord says that even as I loosed the death angel in Egypt, and only those who had the blood on their doorposts lived. God said, I'm going to loose a death angel in the earth because I'm done trying to change them because their hearts have become so hardened they cannot change. So the Lord said, there is a day of mercy 
there is also a day of recompense. And God said, I cannot change this law. Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So the Lord says, I'm loosing a death angel. And years ago, I remember the Lord spoke to me and I prophesied it. It's probably 20 years ago at least. And I read this recently in one of the prophets that I'm going through the Old Testament. God said, I'm going to do bring such judgment that bodies will lay in the streets because there will be no room in the morgues. To some degree, we saw this in some hurricanes. We saw it in New Orleans. But God said, even as I brought judgment in Noah's time, I have also, says God, prepared an ark for this generation that is going to rise up <clears throat> above the judgments. And God said this cleansing, hear me, says the Lord, I am cleansing this land. <clears throat> I am cleansing this land. This time, says God, I'm not coming to rehabilitate. I'm not looking for repentance. I'm looking for removal. And as I begin to remove, I'm even going to begin to remove the lukewarm. For God says it's the lukewarm that has drove many of my servants out of ministry because they would not commit and they would not be faithful to the house of the Lord. This night I issue a challenge, saith the Lord, choose you this day whom you will serve. For from this night on, saith the Lord, the days of choosing when you want to be dedicated are over. Even as I looked at Gideon's 32,000, I said I could not work with them because there were too many that were afraid or not committed, and I whittled them down. You thought that I did not hear you. Many thought that I was outmatched in this hour. Not so, saith the Lord. I was waiting until the fearful revealed themselves. I was waiting till the greedy said, this is what we want. Until now, saith God, my army is smaller, it looks like, than the enemy's army. But what they do not know, that this time, it's not just you that are going to fight the battle, but I have already I've already declared to the angels, move out of heaven, go into the earth. And as Hebrews declares, I am loosing, saith the Lord, the angels and the hosts of heaven into the land. They're going to invade places that you cannot go. They're going to go into places that are off limits, where the evil think that nobody can get in. I'm going to touch Masonic lodges. I'm going to touch all kinds of places, saith the Lord, I'm coming after them by the power of God. This is a move, saith the Lord, that's going to be a holy move. There will be no mixture. There will be no demons. There will be no man control. There will be every, hear me, saith the Lord, to every denomination in the earth and especially in this nation. Either give up control, go back to your roots and embrace the power of God or else I will walk away from you and leave you dry as an old wine skin for this time saith God this is not about segregation it's not about it's our way this is not about baptism this is not even about speaking in tongues this is about me saith the Lord if I be lifted up I will draw all men unto me shout unto the Lord for in this hour saith God this is a release of the power and of the anointing of the Lord. Hallelujah! 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 My God, there's something going on in the spirit of the Lord. God said what you are feeling is resurrection. Hallelujah! What you are feeling is something that's coming out of the grave that the enemy thought they had buried. And even as they guarded my tomb, says the Lord, and thought that they, it could keep me in there, when it was time, saith God, I came out regardless of the guards. 
They can pass every law they want, saith God. They can put every referendum that they want out there. They can stack the Supreme Court, saith the Lord. But I will not be intimidated. And my will will be performed. That though many of you have trembled at what you have seen, hell is trembling more. Hallelujah. God says, if you could see it, the enemy is holding emergency meetings because of the fear and the terror. Because out of their hands, saith God, I am beginning to pull their grips, their grasp off of what they've had a hold of. And I am releasing it back to men and women who will guard it and take care of it by the power of the Lord. Now, I break the the devourer. I break every demon spirit. The Lord says that some of you and even houses, you have names on it that it belongs to you. And the enemy says, no, it belongs to me. God said, I'm going to make the enemy release as I did Egypt have to release its spoil to the Israelites. I'm going to make men and women begin to release, hallelujah, things that are needful in the kingdom of the Lord. There is a network, saith the Lord, that is being raised up in this hour. It's going to make people forget YouTube. It's going to make people forget Facebook. This move, this network will not be censored. And the world looks at it and says, oh, it's just another little uprising. Not so. I have put my move on it. I put my anointing on it. I am going to use its technology to go around the world. There's going to be favor. Hallelujah. I've got satellites, saith the Lord, circling the heavens that I am releasing by the power of God because before I come back, the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached unto all the earth. You don't know the sovereign God that you got a hold of. You got the king of kings and the Lord of Lords. You got the line of Judah and the Lord stands as your defense by the power of the Holy Ghost. I break every demon spirit off of this nation in the name of the Lord. I loose the glory, the authority, and the power of the Spirit of God in the atmosphere. Get him a Sunday. God says you're not dealing with prophets that were hiding from Jezebel. The Lord said this is an Elijah anointing. And that's why he didn't die. Because God said I have reserved that anointing for such a time as this. And because, hallelujah, Elisha had a double portion. But know this, saith the Lord, did I not declare that he who is least in the kingdom of God is greater than John the Baptist? And you, hallelujah, have a double portion. You are filled with the Holy Ghost, and you have Christ in you. That is a double anointing of the Spirit of the Lord. So it's not just on leaders. It's not just on men. But it is on your children. It's on your old men. It's on your young men. Hallelujah. Oh, get ready, you're going to see a visible manifestation of the glory of God. The smoke of my presence is going to shake the doorposts. Atheists are going to run in and give their hearts to the Lord. I'm going to break everything that can be broken. I have already earmarked the Parthenon in Nashville, Tennessee, and I'm coming after that thing. It is a stronghold. When you see it come down, you will know that your God reigns. I am this time, saith the Lord, not temporarily going to move, but I am releasing the glory and the fullness and the impact and the mandate of the Spirit of God. As a sign that my word is true, 
I blow in this house. Divine healing right now in this building. Tonight I start a move of healing without the laying on of hands. All across this building right now. In the name of the Lord, we command every sickness to leave your body, every disease, every mocking spirit that has trespassed of heart disease, sugar diabetes, arthritis, high blood pressure. I come against you, foul spirits, in the name of the Lord, and I cast you out of this building in the name of Jesus by the power of God. I come against the spirit of depression over this nation. The Lord said, I'm going to break that thing because what I'm loosing is hope. And God says there's going to be so much joy begin to hit this nation. Hospitals are going to be almost empty because of the manipulation and the raping of finance. God said, even as I hung Haman on the very gallows that he built to hang a righteous man, so am I now going to take the weapons that the enemy used and created to destroy righteous men, and I'm going to destroy the wicked on the very weapons that they raised up to kill my people. There is a spirit, hallelujah, there is a renewing spirit of the Lord in this atmosphere right now. Lord says that alone when I said there were earthquakes coming. God said on the day of Pentecost, suddenly there came a rushing mighty wind. God says, prepare yourself for there is a wind of God. And the Lord said, this wind that's coming will be God himself that stands up over the portals of heaven. And he says, I'm going to begin to blow. <clears throat> the Lord says, as I begin to blow, there are going to be earthquakes. Just as there are God portals in the earth, there are demon portals. There are demon portals where evil originates out of and then it spreads out into the nations. The Lord said, this wind that I'm sending is going to come suddenly. And you're going to hear reports of odd places throughout the earth that are going to have earthquakes because I am removing strongholds that were hid, that were places where the enemy was creating evil to release upon the earth. <clears throat> When this wind comes, saith God, it will sweep through every denomination, not to save denominations, but to glean from them the remnant. The Lord says, I will not move in denominations because I will not be controlled. And God said, if they will give me control, then I will bless them and move. God said, this is only about me. <clears throat> and every church and every man and every government <clears throat> that will lift me up, says the Lord. <clears throat> I will cause you to arise with me on wings of an eagle. The Lord said that as I begin to elevate, I'm going to do it. For one reason, he says, I'm going to begin to let you get a different vision of what you've been looking at. And God said, ground level gives you one perspective. But God said, I'm getting raised to raise men and women in the spirit. And when they elevate, they will look down 
and they will see the whole picture and not just a fragment. The Lord says, I'm getting ready to shift from the prophet in this nation to the apostle. And the reason I'm shifting to the apostle, says the Lord, is because, and I'm moving from the prophet, is because the prophet declares what's coming and the apostle is going to take care of what is happening. And God said, as this end time harvest begins to take place in the atmosphere, there are going to be so many new converts that have no knowledge of Jesus Christ, never been in church, that it's going to take the apostle to begin to disciple them and teach them the ways of the Lord Jesus Christ. And as I begin to move, says the Lord, even as Ezekiel saw in his vision four faces, one moment you will say, this is a Pentecostal movement. And then another moment, says the Lord, you're looking, no, this is a healing movement. And then another moment you'll say, no, this is in the 70s when the Holy Spirit was being poured out. And God said, I'm just going to keep moving because this time, says the Lord, I'm going to meet needs, but it won't be where man be able to define it. This is going to be an undefinable move of the Lord. One of the first things, saith God, after I begin to break the spirit of racism, I'm going to invade your educational system. And even though, says the Lord, there is going to be a release of my spirit in your great school children, I'm going after the young people in colleges that were young when prayer and the word was removed from schools. And I'm going to redeem that age group that the enemy thought that they won. And I'm going to take 20 and 30 year old men and women who are very intellectual, never been to church. And all of a sudden, I'm going to lose a divine unveiling of myself. And overnight... <clears throat> I'm going to lose my glory in colleges and tenured atheist professors that were so sure that they were right will begin to see the glory of God begin to be released and I will save them as I did Saul of Tarsus. And I will take some of the greatest intellectual voices that have perpetrated the rhetoric of hell and I will reverse it hallelujah and they will become champions of the faith and of the glory of God what I'm going to do will be of such glory that for years the church got drunk on prosperity and they reduced me to the size of a house or a vehicle or an IRA or retirement and that's where they got their joy know this saith the Lord I'm going to take the wealth of the wicked and I'm going to give it to the righteous but it will not move you like it did in the past you will be so consumed with my spirit you won't care if you're driving a Mercedes or a Volkswagen all you know is how fast can I get to the house of the Lord hallelujah 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 I see traffic jams on freeways says the Lord where the glory of God has gotten loose on your highways I see the glory of God hitting resorts 
the Lord said there is a tidal wave of my spirit and of my anointing that's coming out of glory and just as it was on the day of Pentecost suddenly there will come a sound of a tsunami wave of the glory and of the power of God and it will sweep across the earth for I am cleaning the earth for the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ stand with me we need to raise our hands and come into agreement with what the Lord has just declared come on raise up your voices not a mobile Sunday Lord we come into agreement with the utterance of God in the atmosphere <laughs> Sunday oh those of you that are depleted tonight I release the virtue of God on this congregation right now I release the virtue of the Lord into the homes around the world. To all of you precious online people that are destitute, don't have liberty to go to church. I release joy in your home right now. The joy of the Lord. I ask God to begin to raise up Australia and Canada. Hallelujah. And all of these nations that won't let Christians have church. I speak, hallelujah, the presence of God that the Lord would baptize baptize you with fresh joy, fresh strength, uh, that God, when you walk out of here, your feet will be like hinds feet, uh, like leaping out of a stall uh, by the power and of the glory of God. May God renew your calling. May God put a fire in your belly and fire shut up in your bones. May the Lord get a hold of you till you can't help it. May you break loose by the Spirit of the Lord and say like David, I can run through a troop and I can leap over a wall because of the anointing of God that's upon me. Declare war on the enemy because God will back you up. He will back you up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, that's all I got. Amen.
Oh, 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 oh,